Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter of Agoracom TV, a daily, fast-paced, edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investments. Wednesday, January the 27th, three press releases for you. The resources space is dominating the news today, so let's get straight to it. First up, Oro Silver trades on the Venture Exchange under O. SR. They're announcing that they intersected 9.88 grams a ton of gold uh, and 109 grams a ton of silver over four meters. These are more positive assay results for five drill holes recently completed on their El Compass property in Mexico. Four of the drill holes were tested uh, the potential to expand near surface high grade gold and silver mineralization, while the fifth hole tested the potential to expand known mineralization at depth. Highlights from the, from the holes include 3.02 grams ton of gold and 42 grams ton of silver over 17 meters, as well as the highlight number that I gave you, thousand hole 09. Something about Oro Silver to give you a little bit about the company. They're a silver exploration company pursuing early and advanced stage silver-based opportunities in Mexico. The El, the El Compass mine continues to be the cornerstone of the company's growth strategy in that silver district. Closed yesterday, 17 cents, 52 week high, 20 and a half, 52 week low, three and a half cents. Next up, Oro Gold. Don't know if these companies are related. Don't think they are, but they're both trading in Mexico. Well, this company uh, announced that they intersected 8.7 grams a ton of gold over 35 meters. This is at their Trinidad project in Mexico. The company trades on the stock symbol OGR. These are assay results from recent drilling. They 100% they, uh, own the Trinidad property. That's important. Results from, thir uh, from hole 34A confirm, according to the company, high-grade gold in the HS zone and indicate potential at depth. An additional three holes indicate potential for shallow, high-grade gold. Uh, 34A was drilled in order to test for deeper gold potential below the HS zone, and that's the highlight number that I gave you, 34.5 meters, 8.7 grams of gold. So it looks like the company's happy with that. Uh, additional highlights, hole 34, not 34A that we just mentioned, uh, also intersected 4 meters, 8.64 grams ton of gold nice number there indicating potential for additional near surface gold resource and finally hole 38 12.8 meters of 1.6 grams per ton of gold so nice numbers there they closed yesterday at 44 cents 52 week high dollar five and a low 13 cents and finally metals creek resources trades on the venture under mek this is the gorcom client have to disclose that they announced 2.146 grams ton of gold over 12.6 meters uh, these are results from the remaining 11 drill holes on their 100 percent owned staghorn project in newfoundland and labrador highlights from these uh from those holes include the highlight hole i gave you the headline hole as well as 3.65 grams ton of gold over six meters. The company says that all 13 drill hole, all 13 holes drilled, including two previously uh, previously uh, announced uh, holes, intercepted the mineralized porphyry over a 550 meter strike length. The zone remains open in both directions, uh, in both directions and at depth. A little bit about the company: they can earn a 50 percent interest in the Ogden Gold property, including a former the former Nabob Gold Mine located six kilometers south of Tivins. Closed yesterday, 17 cents, 52 week high, 27 and a half, 52 week low, six and a half. And finally, one stock called for you, almost like a bittersweet piece of news because we're saying goodbye to Free West Resources, but it's a great goodbye. Uh, company put out a press release, 9.15 today, halted pending delisting. That's because they successfully, they were successfully acquired by Cliffs uh, at a meeting earlier this week. That transaction is done. It's friendly. All shareholders or most shareholders are very happy with the transaction. And we congratulate Mac Watson and his team on a great job. That's a wrap. As always, if you look for more great small cap news, get yourself to the front page of Agoracom. Watch this show right on the front page or watch it through our syndicated partners, YouTube, Google Video, and all the, all the companies that you see listed there. In addition, take a look at the best headlines of the day. We separate them by industry so you can quickly find the ones that you like. And finally, get yourself in the marketplace. A lot of great companies is in there that we're tracking uh, great succinct descriptions so you can quickly find out what they're all about or sort it by industry and exchange so you can quickly get to the ones that are best suited for your portfolio that's a wrap have a great day see you tomorrow